So I went down to a local thrift store the other day and I came across a really cool box. And over time, as I've been in this hobby, I've been collecting different boxes I come across with the intention and, and the purpose of using them for storage and, uh, you know, and because they look nice or interesting and, you know, I put them on a shelf and I put all my, <laughs> my junk in them. <laughs> and I've made pen boxes myself. Uh, to store my pens, and I made a desk, which all this junk is sitting on. I'm going to call it junk, but it's really treasure. Let's call it treasure. Anyway, one of the old boxes I found was a few years ago. I found this one. It's made of uh, hardwood, you know, obviously uh, it has a couple drawers, and I have different things piled into it at the moment. You know, little templates and uh, scissors and hole punches and things like that. And in the bottom drawer, I keep a lot of stamps, right? So, uh... That's one of the boxes I have. And another box I have is this little cigar box that was actually, you know, I think my parents or my grandparents and, and I had this for a lot of years. And I keep uh, extra leads for my mechanical pencils from that. But the one I found yesterday uh, is this box. Let me get that out of the way. This is actually surprisingly heavy. I think it's made of oak, <laughs> which is quite nice. Uh, so this box right here, and what caught my eye about it was um, it actually looks like it was designed to be used with pens. It almost looks like a writing uh, box where you you know you just put your pad or your paper here and you just write. Quite nice. I like it a lot. Um, so there's a little slot routered in up here, which probably was for pencils or pens. Uh, you know, that's my my interpretation of it. Could have been a bread box, who knows. But anyway, uh, so yeah, uh, as you can see, I got it for $5. Nice little find. There's a couple things I'm gonna do differently though. Anyway, like I said, you could, it was probably used like as a writing box. And somebody probably made it at home as a project and they did a nice job. Um, fairly simple, seems like it's made out of pine. Lightweight. Um, as you can see, there's an angle to this piece here, and there's a slot. Really functional, and this lid lifts up, and it's just a dowling hinge system. Very simple. There's, you know, a hole drill here, a piece of dowling into this board. And inside, well, I'm going to move this out of the way. Inside, when I got it, it was like this. It was just a, that looks like a piece of oak plywood or something in there at the bottom. And this is pine. And I, as I say, uh... Lots of potential in this box. But what I did, um, looking at the inside, I was, I'm thinking I'm going to alter the inside. And so I just sort of traced out the side of the box. As you can see, that's the shape. I just copied that shape. Um, so like that, made it a little smaller so it fits inside. And I made some partitions. Um, I think I have, I have four of them right at the moment. And my intention, I guess, is to use this not so much as a pen box, but as more as a stationary box, I was thinking. Something like that. Um, so I made more, probably more than I need. Uh, I'm probably going to just put three in. But as you can see, but I'll, I'll glue these in place when I decide where I want them. And one of the things I was thinking is if I, you know, on this, on, on the side, I could uh, keep it fairly narrow and use it for things like washi tape. I don't have a lot, a lot of washi tape. But if I make a slot, I'm going to have to get more washi tape. So it's an excuse to get more washi tape. Isn't that, isn't that funny how it all works, right? Um, yeah, so I was thinking I could make, uh, you know, two slots on the side. Now, what I was thinking of doing is, you know, maybe actually if I kept just two slots like that, this is for, I don't know, scissors, maybe? You know, I could put antique scissors in there. I'll have to get some antique scissors. <laughs> I hope Jane's not watching this. She's going to go, oh no, what's he doing now? Anyway, um, <laughs> so I was thinking the center, If I, actually I probably will do that. Uh, keep the center relatively wide and it could be used with stationary in mind, you know, put the like, cards that are, are sitting all over the place. Uh, and that goes down like that. And now the other thing I could do 
because this is just ply. Uh, this is just a sheet, uh, a board of plying that was split. Obviously, it's fairly narrow. Um, what you could do, or I could do, or if you have something like this, you could do it yourself. I was thinking I'd put a piece of leather. You know, this, this is a leather pad we had made, desk pad. But it would be really cool if I had another piece of leather and attached it to the top of this, just so that when I, if I did ever want to use it as a writing box, I'm sitting in a chair sometime, maybe writing some cards, not at a desk. You know, the leather is a nice surface to write on. It's smooth. It has a bit of give. You don't get the wood grain texture <laughs> as you write. So anyway, that's something I might do with this box. You know, make that into a, a little bit fancier object, right? That's, a, that's a, something I did the other day with Sam. We were just pulling around with washi tape and wax seals. <laughs> I don't know what I'll do with that. Anyway, um, so yeah, that's my plan. Just a quick little video. I thought it'd be kind of fun to show you things. So the great thing about Fountain Pen Hobby, the Fountain Pen Hobby is doing things like this, going to the thrift stores. You know, you can find old boxes that were used for silverware. You can buy, you can find old jewelry boxes. You can find, you know, people's woodworking projects for that obviously seem to be like a writing box and use these things. You can find old cigar boxes and use them for storage for your fountain pens. They look really funky. That's what I like about them. You know, I put them on my, I made a, I have a storage shelf for all my stuff and all the different boxes are part of the hobby. They look really cool. They're fun, interesting. So yeah. So next time you're at a thrift store, look around and you might find something that you can make use of. And you know, with a little bit of luck, a little bit of skill, actually you don't need a lot of skill, a few tools really. You can probably, probably easily make a box like this yourself or a, you know, table saw and a chop saw, a few vices, and, and you're in business, really. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you liked this video. It was just a quick one showing you my latest treasure. And, you know, I'll think about what I want to do with this. Maybe put some kind of a leather surface on that. I mean, that'd be cool. So uh, anyway, I hope you liked the video and give it a thumbs up. And you know what? I'm getting really close to my my goal, you know, I set a goal when I, after I had been in the fountain pen uh, making videos, I set a goal and I'm getting very close. So it, um, I'd love it if you subscribe, if you haven't already, it helps out a lot. And uh, I'll keep on making videos. I'm not going to guarantee they're interesting because they're sometimes not, but they're a lot of fun. <laughs> and I hope you have a great day. Anyway, talk to you soon. Bye-bye.